Well, we're happy to be playing a game. My team is for sure. They were tired of practicing against each other, but uh, the first part of the second half, we really played well for about eight or ten minutes there. We uh, had two, three possessions in a row. We took an outside shot without even thinking about getting the ball inside. And other than that, I thought we were good. I thought Luke was really good, um, 26 and 10 and 28 minutes. And, I think he showed a great deal of leadership out there. I think I thought Kenny Williams was sensational defensively with his effort, with his passing, uh, getting to the boards. I thought he was he was really something for the first game. I think Garrison did well, five for six. He had three turnovers, two of them on uh, offensive fouls. So we've got to do a better job of playing with our body, not using our arms so much. Uh, Angelique for a freshman, the first game, I thought he was fine. Uh, seventh came in, and I thought they gave us some good moments. If you look at their stats together, it's uh, – uh, it's not bad. Jalik had uh, five and seventh had nine. Uh, it's hard playing without Joel. There's no question about it. Uh, uh, Cam hurt himself in a play, uh, I think it's Tuesday, trying to guard the screen. There was a screen involved and there was a collision. It wasn't a bad collision, but all of a sudden he started stretching his neck. He's had muscle spasms and it, uh, he was willing to try to go uh, before the game. I went and made the decision during warm-ups. Just didn't think he was as positive about it as I wanted him to be, and I didn't uh, feel like it was necessary to try to push somebody the first game of the year, so hopefully he'll be able to go on uh, Wednesday. He has gotten better every day, but he hadn't practiced. He tried to practice yesterday a little bit and went through some of the things down the offense today, but I just didn't think it was necessary to try to uh, get him out there. Without Joel and uh, Cam, that's two of our three best shooters, so you know, I didn't like starting out shooting three, four of our first six possessions. But uh, all in all, we, we did some good things. And, yes, it helped us when uh, Cook got foul trouble early and we were able to do things inside. But uh, there's a lot of things to like and a lot of things that we can work on both. So it's a coach's dream. How about seeing Kenny have so much fun out there, especially after what he's been through the last 10 months? Yeah, and I'd like to look at the last one where they call block. I, uh, he's, he's really good at drawing charges. And, uh Showed the effort one time. He got on the floor like crazy, and uh, Garrison got on the floor after it, and uh, uh, that kind of effort helped us in the jamboree when we played in the third session uh, last Sunday. Roy, has Luke been showing that kind of efficiency? I mean, uh, and that scoring was a lot tonight, but in mm -hmm. terms of just playing that way throughout the season? You know, he's very confident. He's been playing well uh, uh, in the scrimmage against Memphis, and in the, uh, in the scrimmage against Memphis, he was fouled too many times. And in the Jamboree, he played probably out of the 40 minutes, he probably played 26 minutes and had eight turnovers. So I got on about his turnovers tonight. He had one, and it was an offensive foul as well. Uh, but, uh, no, he's he's been playing very well. As I said, he is confident and should be because he's a very good basketball player. And his preparation, trying to take care of his body and trying to become a better player is, uh, uh, guys, it's about as high as it can possibly be. So he's seeing the benefits of some of that work. Luke is so unassuming as it is. Did you see? Was there any difference after that car accident? Yeah. Did you see any noticeable change in you know even in him appreciating this opportunity to play or anything like that? Uh, you know, I talked to him that afternoon, just a couple hours. And, well, if it was less than that after when he got just gotten home. But uh, I think he realized how fortunate he was. But Luke is a very sincere, caring person, uh, down to earth. Uh, all the time, so I don't know that that did much to him, but I mean, he realized how lucky he was. There's no question about that. Could you uh, evaluate how the big guys played, especially uh, Garrison and Sterling? Garrison is, is playing more minutes because he's making fewer mistakes. I mean, in that, uh, you know, you'd like to give a guy playing time because of the great things he does, but if his competition is not doing the great things, then the other way to go is who's making the fewest mistakes, and I think Garrison is is doing that. He's boxing out more. He's running the floor more. I took him out of the game once tonight because he didn't run, so hopefully we're teaching some lessons to him too. But uh, uh, he's that's the reason he's getting the spot. I think he's a good basketball player, but he's he's done a really nice job in practice of paying attention and uh, doing a great job of learning what we want. Sterling is really long. Uh, we've had a tough time getting him through all the running stuff, you know, getting him to sweat a little bit, but he's sweating more now than he's probably – had more perspiration in the last six weeks than he's had in the last six years kind of thing. But uh, uh, I think he has a chance to be a good player. 
And I think the same thing. I mean, uh, B. Huff and, and Walker, I think both of those guys have a chance to be very good players as well. They've just got to keep plodding along, keep plodding along, and good things will happen. Have things changed since the preseason? You said What's that? Have things changed since the preseason? You said that the three of them might make one good player. No, I said the three or four of them together would not be a good would player. Would not be, yeah. yeah. So I, I know what that was. And I still say that, you know, but they're getting better. Right, when you were recruiting Luke, did you ever foresee a time when you would score 26 and a half, 10 rebounds? Like, did you see that kind of potential within him? And the answer is yes and no. I wouldn't recruit players if I didn't think they could be really good. Right. You know, I'm not recruiting somebody just because his dad was a, uh, a nice guy when I was an assistant coach or anything. I really think he has a chance to be a player. He was in our camp for a few years, three or four or five, two, I don't know how many. And I kept saying to his dad, I said, don't sell yourself short. He's, he's going to have a chance. He's going to have a chance. And uh, uh, I really wanted him, told him I really wanted him, and told him that he would surprise people. And... Uh, he would be very good, but what you don't know is how much they wanted. And, uh, you know, I knew that Tyler Hansborough wanted to be a great player and was going to work, 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 work. Uh, and you hope that with everybody, but I think Luke uh, has fulfilled my expectation for how badly he wants to be a good player, and then some. His desire is just off the charts, but uh, uh, I've never recruited a guy thinking that he wasn't going to be very good. And, I just think that big guys who can shoot the ball, Andrew, gives you another uh, another thing to think about. And, and Luke said good for him, could always shoot the ball. Take two more quick ones, please, so you can get the players. Is the Kenny we saw tonight a matter of confidence, or has he made other adjustments in the game? I'm not supposed to chew ice. It's bad for you. Uh, you know, Kenny, Kenny was, does enjoy playing. And, you know, he's had some tough times. He hadn't had a chance to play as much. And so... It's like a rebirth for him to be out there on the court and having fun. But he's he's a good basketball player too. It's not he's just running around out there, you know, think the Easter egg hunt or anything. I mean, he's having fun because he's playing well. I still think he can shoot the ball a lot better than he has shown during his career here. But he's the best defensive player on the perimeter. He takes more charges than anybody in practice. Uh, so he does enjoy doing the things that make the coach talk about him all the time. Joe warmed up. He was shooting, and you'd said he had recently gone back to shooting. Did he get three warm-ups okay without a lot of pain progressing? Uh, I didn't even talk to him, but I told him, I told Doug, I said I'd like for him to go through warm-ups just because that's more getting more range of motion back in your hand and more practice without hopefully hurting it. And I told him to be sensible on the shots he's taking. And uh, then he asked me at shoot-around today if he could do that, and I said, yes, I already told Doug that I thought he'd be good for you. I mean, but he's, he's been working on his left hand extremely hard, oh my gosh. I mean, the amount of time that he's been, he goes down yesterday, I see it out of the corner of my eye, and water breaking goes up and dunks one left-handed. So I haven't seen him dunk one right-handed yet, but uh, no, he's doing some good things. Players are available.